in the dirt. Y'all ready for just a little little uh, country humor? Will that that be all right? Yes. All right. Well, good. I'm sure you guys already figured out from the way I'm dressed and from the way I talk, I'm a gay. <laughs> I know. Now imagine the surprise when I found out. <laughs> shocking. It was shocking too for all my family back home. I mean, when they found out, they called me horrible names like faggot and Democrat. <laughs> I know, it's cruel. That's all right, I just loaded up my truck and typed in California on my GPS, pushed play on my Hello Dolly revival soundtrack starring Bette Midler. And now I am a proud resident of Bakersfield, California. <laughs> Bakersfield's pretty awesome. It's a lot like, like back home. We got our dollar stores and the Chuck E. Cheese and the meth. <laughs> the biggest difference, though, between living in a small town in California and a small town in the Ozarks is that here you got a lot more um, uh, ethnics. Is that the right word? <laughs> Oh, I've met my first Jew-ish person. And I have two black friends. But I'm still a little racist. Not Roseanne level racist, but just a, a little racist. And the reason why I think that is, last Thursday night I went to um, Buck Owens Crystal Palace karaoke night. And one white girl after another got up there and sang Adele and Taylor Swift and Miranda Lambert. But then, this large black lady starts walking up to the stage, and on the karaoke screen it said, soul hits in the key of A, respect in the style of Aretha Franklin. She got up there, she grabbed that microphone, and that music started, and she was horrible. And I was disappointed. <laughs> and I realized that I was judging her based on the color of her skin <laughs> and because she was so fat. <laughs> I mean, she had to be at least diabetic. <laughs> and I should be the last person to be judging people based on stereotypes because I got screwed on the gay gene. I cannot home decorate. I cannot make my own clothes. I cannot cook fancy food. I just like the penis. <laughs> but being in California, I've had trouble like um, making friends. So I decided that I would go down to uh, a West Hollywood to get, you know, gayer. And I found this place, it's called the Abbey, and it is a gay bar for the men. And I went there, and I was a little nervous, and I was down in my beers and dodging the bears, and I saw, <laughs> and I saw these two fellas that were about my age. You know, they had on their fancy t-shirts and their fancy eyebrows, and <laughs> so I walked up and I said, um, well, hi, my name's Brandon. And they said, so I said, uh, well, I'm from Bakersfield. And they said, so I said, so how about them Kardashians? They're having a pretty good season. So, I'm not crushing it. So to make friends, I decided I would um, try to join the local, the LA chapter of the LGBTQ, but I failed the entrance exam. I mean, I did great on the written and, and I passed the physical. I just couldn't make it through the oral. I choked. See, what they want to know, they asked me, They asked me if I could name the gay icon alphabet. And I was like, 
the gay icon alphabet, Adele, Barbara, Cher, Dolly, Elizabeth, Fergie, Gaga, Hill, Adina, Judy, Kylie, Lena, Manali, Nina, Oprah, Patty, LaBelle, and LaPone. <laughs> Queen Latifah, Rasha, Kira, Tina, Turner, Underwood, Vanessa, Whitney, Zena, Warrior, Princess, Yoko, and Jaja. I've been practicing. I'm Brandon Burke. Thank you very much. Yeah.